Hello, welcome back again. So in the last video, we've seen how to to do the to make a, a configuration class with the, uh, with the, some custom configuration. You can still, I think, you can still use the the annotation here of uh, in the our main uh, class of the application. We can still use the enable uh, auto configuration I guess this this will work without ever doing this but uh, we need to if we work with just this we need to to know to put our file exactly where they are supposed to to be so we better go for our our custom configuration so so in this uh, in this uh, video we will create some a control a very simple control and then uh, we'll see how it works so we go here and uh, add a new package so we'll name it com alim one dot web controller controller and uh, I will create a sample con no, not a package a very simple controller for our view we have so uh, example example controller controller Here we go. So in all this control to work, we need to add draw controller annotation to tell Spring Boot Spring that this is a, a control, and uh, we have the so we will be git mapping. because we will uh, what we have the example page no example dot html uh, public public uh, it's gonna return a string uh, the name of the, the the view itself string String show show example view uh, takes nothing for now return example equal dot html and uh, this should work so in order for it to work we're gonna just print something to the console so, uh, from from the show so from this method we're gonna print this so we make sure that this work uh -huh. And let's run it. Uh, wait for when the application started. So this is example. So it worked. And uh, if we go back here to the console, we can see it's show from the show example view that's mean this this method that m this method got called uh, and we here we have the our sample not fancy view chain view so what if we want to pass the welcome to welcome for our first example uh, first of all we need I, I want to talk about this in order to use theme leaf 
as a template engine you need to include these in the HTML opening tag so remember this never forget this so we can uh, use the th tag for the thingly uh, so if we want for example to specify name here welcome uh, some name we will do it with, we can do it with thingly for example this will this is a variable this is a, a model not a variable but since now we don't have a real object we will be it's string yes yeah, string is an object i'll be using a string a simple string so we'll be go back here to to the controller and this control will will take a model a model import model and this small string need string it's called name and we will give it a beam for example and we will and we need to bind this this model uh, this variable to the model so we return it to the uh, to the page and what we do here is model dot add add attribute we go for this one attribute and we can name it since we have it there name and we give it here the name name which will run again so first of all hope uh, we need to get here welcome to our first view and the name is what the name is Hadi. so we're supposed to get this name there and see we use the get mapping because when we do this it's a, a get so we got it there we can put the this wool so we did it in this way in the theme leaf uh, we can all this contents of this tag we can make it like this here's a th text there is a th text and we give the give it the variable for, for example greeting greeting uh, world green so the the contents of this tag this will print to the contents of this tag uh, this is we can keep it like their name for example greeting 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 welcome welcome to our page our view and the uh, greeting Greeting. Greeting here. So let's run again. Uh, still stuck here. So what will happen? We will get all this message printed out to the contents of the tag here same the same thing so that was uh, you see here each time a, a, a send uh, a get request here this method gets invoked let's see this is a get method so it 
does get unblocked you, you can see here so see you next time